Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This one's gonna be pretty fun. We're talking about the food differences between Canada and New Zealand. Now, a lot of these terms, a lot of these things are probably not going to be that strange if you're from somewhere like the UK or Australia, but if you're coming from North America or maybe other countries, some of these might surprise you. Let's see what kind of weird things that they eat or things that they call weird things that they th say for things. First one on the list is courgette. If you haven't heard this word before, it is the UK or New Zealand term for zucchini. The next one is bell peppers are called capsicum in New Zealand. This is one I did not know, and I don't know if that's the same in the UK. I have heard it is the same in Australia. The next one is kumara, which is sweet potato. And I know a lot of people in North America also use the term yam for sweet potato, but I believe yam and sweet potato are completely different things. And kumara and sweet potato are the same. If that's not correct, let me know down below. But I bought a kumara last week and we ended up cutting it up and cooking it. it. Tastes exactly the same as a sweet potato. So I'm pretty sure it is the same thing. Now let's talk about cheese. If you're a cheese connoisseur like myself, I love cheese. I never wanna live without it. It's my favorite thing in the entire world. You're gonna notice some differences when you come to New Zealand. So there are main types of cheese. I'm gonna go through, I guess, the three main types. I think there's a fourth one. So we have tasty cheese, Kobe cheese, and Edam cheese. I think there's a fourth one, but I can't remember what it's called. Kobe is by far my favorite. It's super delicious, super creamy. It's kind of like mozzarella-ish. Not exactly. It's more like a brick mozzarella that you would buy in North America. Like it melts really well. I always put it on pizza and things like that. Tasty is like aged cheddar. And yes, it's called tasty. It's called tasty cheese. And it's typically the most expensive one for some reason. I did end up buying a brick of tasty cheese not too long ago because it was on sale and found it to be not my favorite. If you like aged cheddar and kind of that like gritty fall apart texture, you would really like it. I think I've only bought Edam cheese, which I don't know if that's how you say that, but I've only bought that cheese once. And ever since I bought Kobe, I've just never gone back. It's by far my favorite. But you won't see things like cheddar or, you know, like the wall of different brick, like Havarti and all of that. You won't see that in the grocery store unless you're in like the fancy cheese section. Then you'll see like your Havartis and your like Breeze and Camembert and all of those. We're not really big into like fancy cheeses. I just put cheese on everything. The next thing on this list is muesli. So it's basically granola from what I can tell. I did look this up and apparently muesli is not the same as granola, but it is similar somehow in the way that it's cooked or prepared or something. So if you're going to the grocery store and looking for granola bars, it's gonna be in a section where it says muesli bars. It's kind of the same thing, although I do find their muesli bars to be very stiff and very hard where back home I feel like most are chewy and like soft. I don't know if I'm just buying the type of granola bars that are not soft, but next on the list is gherkins. So these are pickles, but apparently they're not. They're not the same thing. I don't know what makes them different, but a lot of the pickles here are on the sweeter side of things. I haven't seen like dill pickles here anywhere yet. I don't know if that's like a special thing to find that or it's in like a different section, but in the section in the grocery store where there are pickles and everything like that, it all, they're always called gherkins. And I think the UK uses that term as well. Let's talk about condiments. So you can find ketchup here. You can find like regular mustard and mayonnaise and all of that, but it's not quite the same. So they don't call ketchup ketchup unless it's being marketed that way. There are a few brands in the grocery store that say like ketchup on the bottle, but they do call ketchup tomato paste. And I don't find it tastes the same at all. I find it like way more on the acidic side. I don't love ketchup, just normal ketchup back home, so this is not a big deal to me, but it does not taste the same if you buy a bottle of like branded ketchup here that's called ketchup, it doesn't taste the same. Usually when you're going out and you're going for like a burger and fries or something, you'll get aioli on the side, which in my opinion is far superior to ketchup any day, so I'm totally fine with that. Mustard, I have seen like regular American style mustard at the grocery store and I did end up buying a bottle of it and it was not good. It was like neon yellow and it was like gritty. 
It tasted more like the Dijon mustard, which they do have here. I'm not, I don't use like mustard on a lot of things, but I do like a good yellow mustard and I haven't been able to find that here. The mayonnaise is pretty much the same. You can also buy aiolis like in a squeezy bottle, which is my favorite thing in the world. Highly recommend if you if you like garlic. They do have something called tomato too. I'm sure we have that back in North America. I just haven't seen it, but it's basically tomato sauce or ketchup mixed with mayo and it's like in its own little squeezy. Another thing that I cannot find here is Caesar dressing. Ranch, easy to find, but I haven't seen Caesar dressing anywhere. Also, if you're looking for coffee creamer, you're gonna spend a long time looking around in the grocery store. You're gonna be in the milk section, in the cooler section and not see it anywhere. That was kind of confusing for us when we went to the grocery store looking for it. We had to basically go through the entire store until we found a section called Long Life Milk. So Long Life Milk is basically shelf stable milk that's like in a carton and it's unrefrigerated, it's on the shelf. And then once you open it, you're supposed to refrigerate it. So that is where you're gonna find your coffee creamer. And it's not like the type of creamer that you find back home. Any of those big, huge ones with like the pour spout on top, those are always in the fridge where the milk is. You will not find that here. At least I have not. And I've been into many, many grocery stores across the North and South Islands. I typically go for an oat milk. So like a barista grade oat milk. I find those are the best for putting in tea. I don't drink coffee, but if you're looking for like a standard North American style creamer, you're probably not going to find it here. They do have like regular milk in the cooler section if you don't want to do the whole like long life milk thing. Another thing that you might be surprised to find on the shelf are eggs. There is an aisle in each grocery store that has eggs on the shelf. They do not put them in the fridge. Although I have worked with people who are from New Zealand and who say that they put their eggs in the fridge at home. So I'm not sure how popular it is still to keep your eggs on the shelf and not in the fridge. That is something that might be a little strange if you're looking for eggs. It's not going to be in the cooler section. It's gonna be like in the middle rows. Let's talk about flavors of things. So passion fruit is extremely common. You're gonna find like passion fruit ciders, cheesecakes, yogurts, ice creams. There's so many pastries too, actually. You're gonna find a lot of passion fruit flavor. Also blood orange seems to be really popular, like mandarin, different kind of orange flavored things. I'm like semi a fan of that flavor, depends on what it is. Okay, let's just take a minute here and talk about New Zealand dairy and chocolate because the dairy here is unreal. It is so creamy, so delicious, so fresh, and the chocolate is just the best chocolate I've ever had, honestly. There is a brand here called Whitaker's, which is a New Zealand brand, I believe, and the best chocolate unbelievable. You go into the grocery store and they have these bricks and they're massive and there's all these different flavors and they are so delicious. They are so worth it, you guys. I mean, I haven't had any better chocolate in my life anywhere. It's amazing. The chicken here is amazing and it's actually one of the cheapest meats. So we ended up buying like a four pack of chicken breasts, which would probably be almost $30 back home and it was $10 New Zealand dollars, $10 New Zealand dollars for four fresh chicken breasts. I mean, that is crazy. We're eating so much chicken here because it's so good. It just cooks amazingly well. It tastes delicious. Like I've never had a dry piece of chicken in New Zealand and also the fried chicken. Any small place that has like Korean style fried chicken or just like a local place with fried chicken, do find that the pork and the beef are not that good, which is surprising to me because there are so many cows here, uh, but maybe I'm just buying the wrong type of meat or maybe we need to go to like a local butcher. Cause we had some steaks like a couple months ago that were horrible. They were absolutely horrible. There are chip shops here that are just amazing. Like the French fries are usually unbelievable and the fish, the fish and chips, places that are in like smaller towns that are right on the water, 100% worth it. It's so cheap to get just like huge thing of fish and chips and it's totally worth it. So delicious, like definitely get the aioli, dip that in there. The food here is actually incredible. I mean, we don't venture out into any kind of like fancy type of eating. Like we're usually burgers and fries type of people, but so far all of the like fried chicken and the like classic, I don't know, I guess it's like North American 
fast food, not very healthy, but it's all been really, really good. It can be expensive depending on where you go. Like if you go to a sit down restaurant, it's probably like 25, 26 bucks for a burger and fries. So if you guys have any cool food things that are different from North America to New Zealand, definitely leave me a comment down below. There's all these things I wanna try. We love food, we love to experiment with things. So thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys soon in the next one. Bye.